Hello and welcome to another quick tip video. Today we're going to talk about how to use auxiliary outputs on your video switcher, why you should use them, and what they're good for. But before we start, remember to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Remember we're trying to hit 200 subscribers by my birthday on July 23rd. Alright, on to the video. So auxiliary outputs, what are they good for? Well, I personally find a lot of uses for them. One of the th nice things I like, especially about this Blackmagic switcher, is I have up to six auxiliary outputs to use. So I'll have one assigned to our video wall that's behind the stage. I'll have another one assigned to our side panels. I'll have another one running my ad loops out in the lobby for whatever event we're doing. And then I'll have another one assigned, uh, strictly running our wide shot, to a monitor backstage so the directors and the stage manager can see exactly what's going on. Now there's three main ways to access the auxiliary outputs that I like to use. One is from the computer, one is directly from the switcher, and one is from the hardware control panel. So I'm going to show you all three of those right now. So the first place you can access your auxiliary output is right from the front panel of the switcher. As you can see, all the buttons for your auxiliary outputs are in a line right here on this side. You just press the one you want, so we want aux 1, and then you press the source you want to go to. So we press 2, and as you can see, it changes our aux output, so now that feed is going to whatever source you're feeding. So the next place that you can access your auxiliary outputs is actually through the hardware control panel. So right here you see a little button that says aux. When you press that, you now have your different aux uh, input buttons, so you just press one like you wanted before. And then this top row is where you're going to select your source. So we, as you can see, when we press it, we can change our source, and then we can change right back. So the last way to do this is actually through the software on your computer. So at the top of the screen, you're going to see where it says auxiliary outputs. When you click on that, you can come down here and you can choose your aux output that you want, and it will switch for you. So if we want to go from the bars right now, to our main camera, we can click it, and as you can see right behind me, it changes. So as you can see, accessing your auxiliary outputs on your video switcher is very simple, and they really do help streamline your workflow. Let me know what you guys use your auxiliary outputs for. I'm curious to see how people use and set up their systems in different ways. Also, remember to please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Remember, we're trying to hit 200 subs by my birthday on July 23rd. But most importantly, dream big, think bigger, and always be you.